In this section, we're going to learn how to get a reference and download a user's profile photo, as well as how to get the user's uh, manager's profile details. Profile photos can be set on user accounts, groups, and contacts in Office 365. Developers can use Microsoft Graph to view, download, and manage profile photos for these three resource types. Profile photos are stored as a binary data that developers can convert to different formats in different use cases, such as Base64 for use in a web environment. To do user operations, you'll need one of the following permissions. The specific permission required will depend on the operation that you want to do. For example, if you are creating, editing, or deleting users, one of the right permissions is going to be required. Some permissions can be granted by a user while others must be granted to the app by an administrator. We have both delegated and application permissions. To get a resources profile photo, you're going to use the photo slash dollar value endpoint on the resource. So for example, for the signed in users profile photo, you can access that at graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash me slash photo slash dollar value. Now that's going to return the metadata and the binary data of the photo. And you can do the same operation with the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK by going to the photo property on the me object and then calling get async to get the result. Certain photo sizes can be requested using Microsoft Graph. The supported sizes of high definition photos in Office 365 are as follows. 48 by 48, 64 by 64, 96 by 96, 120 by 120, 240 by 240, 360 by 360, 432 by 432, 504 by 504, and 648 by 648. These are all in pixels. You can get the metadata of the largest available photo or specify the size to get the metadata for that specific photo size. Now, if you request a size that's not available, you can still get a smaller size for that user that they've uploaded and made available. For example, if the user uploads a photo that's 504 by 504 pixels, all the sizes are available except for the 648 by 648 photo. To get a photo of a specific size, you're gonna go use the slash me slash photos slash whatever the resolution is slash dollar value endpoint, where 48 and 48 by this case is the desired size of the photo. The object returned by Microsoft Graph contains the metadata for the profile photo. The following JSON contains the standard response returned by the Microsoft Graph photo slash dollar value endpoint. When you use the photo slash dollar value endpoint to get the binary data for a profile photo, you're gonna to need to convert the data into a base64 string and add it as if an email uh, attachment. You can also save the binary stream to a local disk and save it as an image file. The following code that you see here on the slide uses the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK to request the profile photo for the currently signed in user, save it on disk as a JPEG. So first we're getting the photo at the very top where we're getting an instance of the graph client, the authenticated graph client, and then I'm getting the actual photo and storing it, uh, the, re the result of my request in the result user photo file. And then gonna create a new file on the disk using the system.io uh, namespace and I'm specifying where I want that photo. So in this case, I'm gonna call the photo profile photo underscore the GUID of the current user or of the photo itself dot JPEG. I'm then going to go create the photo and then I'm gonna read all the data in for the photo and then save it to the uh, profile photo object that I created. Each user resource has additional referenced resources such as their email messages, calendar items, and the files in OneDrive Consumer or OneDrive for Business. One of the resources linked off the user resource is the user's manager. The manager property on a user resource is returned as a directory object type. Now, if you're using one of the native Microsoft Graph SDKs, it should automatically convert the type to a user object. But if not, you can always cast it as a user. Here you can see a code sample that demonstrates how this works. I'm first getting uh, defining the user ID and getting a request for the current user's manager. I'm then going to go get the user manager and then from there, I'm then going to try and cast the, the user manager as a user object. And then from there, I'm just going to write out the properties on that user, their ID uh, for the current user, the ID of the manager, the manager's display name, and their email address. 